All right, welcome back everybody. So today I'm going to be showing you the quickest and easiest way to animate a logo in Davigi Resolve. Without further ado, let's jump right into the video. All right, so what I have here is a very stripped down version of what I release on my Realty page every week. And I chose this one just because I do have the Remax logo, it's animated, and if I just play this, you can see it bounces around and wiggles a little, mostly moves up and down, a little bit of sideways motion, but that's really all it does. And if you wanted to do something kind of like this, the easiest way to do so is to click on the uh, video track or the logo that you wanted to animate, and then we hop right into Fusion. All right, so these are the settings that I used for my video. I wanted to have a really subtle animation, and because the logo is so tiny, I had to turn the overall strength essentially all the way down. But again, if we play it, you can see that it is going to be moving around a little bit. And then it's just a matter of setting everything to taste. So if you wanted it to move left and right a little bit more, you turn that up more, the X deviation. Same thing goes with the Y. If you really wanted it to move vertically a lot more, set that higher. If you wanted it to have a little bit of rotation, you can turn that up as well. And now you can see it does a little bit of tilting. Randomness, I keep all the way up just because I don't want it to be sine wave-like, if that makes any sense. I have the same sort of pattern repeating over and over again. I like it to have a little bit of randomness, so I turn that all the way up. The strength is going to be the amount of movement, so if you turn that up, you're going to see a lot of movement closer to the actual camera shake, especially if you turn the speed up, then it just goes a little nuts. So be subtle with it. Turn that down. Now it's just going to twitch a little bit if it's down there. So I like to have it there. Turn the speed down and it gives it a nice simple little animation there where it's not really doing a whole lot but it is going to move around a little bit. And there we have it. It's honestly that easy. If you wanted to know how to actually insert the camera shake, I'll just delete it here. Make sure that media one is highlighted in the fusion tab. Uh, hold shift and hit spacebar, and then just type in camera, click on the camera shake, add it in. And there we go, that easy. All right, and if this video was helpful at all, let me know in the comment section below, as well as letting me know what you'd like to see in future episodes. I want to make content that you want to see, so let me know what it is that you want to see. And until next time, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye now.